Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. So guys, Ace Money here. It's uh, the 28th, Friday, two games on the slate. Very late, sorry. Uh, I dropped a, a slip of the plays in the community for my subscribers, and uh, I'm going to try to run through this pretty quick. Got uh, first game, starts at 7.30. We got Dream vs. Sun. Sun's on our uh, back-to-back. Dream's head off like five days or so. Lines opened up at plus nine. Dream is the underdog. Uh, moved a little bit, plus 10, plus 9.5, uh, over under 153.5. Can find it down to 149, 149.5, up to 150.5. And, and uh, Dream plus 360, they opened at yeah, up to plus 380. But uh, then we got a 10 o'clock game, Sparks versus Mercury. We both had uh, quite a few days off. Three, I think three days. Lines open to plus ten and a half. Sparks is the underdog. The uh, it's at plus ten across the board. Uh, you can find it at minus ten and a half. Don't do that. That'd be retarded. You want to take that at minus ten if you would even take that, but I wouldn't do that either. Uh, over under one sixty four and a half. Uh, jumped all the way up to one sixty nine. And then uh, Sparks, uh, plus 425. You can find them up to plus 460. Some books got them at plus 375. That's why you really got a line shot. But uh, I'd stay off. I'd stay off total. Even with the, the Sun, they are back-to-back. So I'm not really sure how they're going to play. They kind of affected some of my other plays. But uh, let me get into these player props. Ace money to need and getting paid the game. All right. Uh, first up. All right, we got uh, Dewana Barna going back to her over 16 and a half points. It's not a back-to-back, so I don't really know how they're going to play, but she should be able to clear this. Uh, Thomas isn't been – something's wrong with her. She hasn't been playing that well. She only gets around 11 points anyway. But, uh, yeah, my key play, I like this play too, just because I figure she's going to be doing the scoring anyway. Uh Stayed away from her threes just because I'm not sure. See how her legs are going to be. But, uh, yeah, so I played her points. Uh, the other play I played was her rebounds, which we cashed yesterday. I'm going to play them again. Usually Thomas is a beast of the rebounds, but Bond has been, been killing it. Uh, six and a half. They actually jumped it up to plus 110. I didn't play it at that. But uh, you see she got 10 last game, 9 the game before. She's cleared this 8 out of the last 10 games. And uh, she should be able to go over this. But uh, like I said, it's a back-to-back. But the other team uh, doesn't compare to... To the Suns, but uh, I expected to have around eight rebounds and, you know, probably like 22 points. So they both should be good. All right. So, like I said, points, 16 and a half. You can find it at 15, 15 and a half. That'd be better. And uh, rebound, six and a half. You can get them at five and a half, too, but it's it's like 160 juiced. If, uh, if your unit size is larger, definitely always all line it back. All right, next up, we got Tasha Harris, points over nine and a half. Now, make sure you find it at nine and a half because they got it at ten and a half. And you want that nine and a half because she's been scoring. You see a couple times, ten. You see that one nine in there. She had some elevens. So if you get that ten and a half, you might hook it. So all line it back, look at different books, uh, Vandals have 10 plus points is the same thing as nine and a half. Definitely check it out because you see a pretty high hit rate. 
Uh, last game, she had, she had 23 points, but uh, she's usually right over it. Uh, shooting 45% from the field, 38% from three, 80% from the stripe. Plays plenty of minutes. She's exceeded nine and a half points in nine of her last 10 games. Um, they are on a back to back, but it's five baskets. Should be able to do that. She's uh, attempting 10 shots, average a game. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's keep it up. The odds are great. It's 90%. Hit rate minus 142 is uh, is about 50, 59% true odds. And her true I mean, 59% odds. And her true odds are 90% in the last 10 games. So, all right, very uh, high hit rate, but uh, 71% for the year. So going off that, it's still a 20% edge. So we got Tasha Harris over nine and a half points. Line shop, line shop, odd shop, odd shop. Broken record, I know. Let's go. If you could like that video, uh, new viewers, please subscribe. Everybody turn the notifications on so you get my plays. If uh, if I don't get a chance to make a video or I was late like today, I drop it in the community, bet slip, and you can get it. Uh, my live bets, they don't let you live bet on WNBA. But uh, yeah, likes, and uh, if you could leave a, com leave a comment, shoot, write anything, shoot the breeze. Comments and likes help get the videos out there, help get more people to see them, and so on and so forth. Appreciate everyone. All right, next up, we got Tina Charles, uh, points and rebounds. Messed around and played her under on points last week, a couple of days ago, and I got burned uh, when she played uh, Indiana. And uh, she's, a, she's a big, strong woman, and she, they just couldn't handle her. She didn't go crazy with the points. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's right there. She had 24 points. Yeah, she went over the, over the line by 10. But uh, her points, she's, you know, it's hit or miss with her points, and she's a good rebounder. She's grabbing seven, eight, ten rebounds, 11. So I figured meshing together this way, if one's a little less, one's a little more. As you see, the last four games, she's hit this. Uh, like I said before, Sun's on a back to back, so they'll be a little more tired. Atlanta's more rested, even though Sun should take the game. Tina Charles should have her way. Especially, uh, I don't know who she's guarding. And like I said, uh, what's the names? Uh, she's not playing right. Something's up with her. And then Bonner is real tall, but she don't have no weight behind her. You know, a, a, a breezy day. She needs to put some rocks in her pockets. But, uh, yeah, so it's looking good. Points and rebounds, Tina Charles. Uh, FanDuel, you got to – they don't have this on – on DraftKings, it's hard to find lines for this WNBA. It's crazy. It's been out for 20 years. And even the stats, trying to find stats, it's not the same. All right. Next up, we got Diana Terezi. Points over 15 and a half. Uh, it's like I say all the time. So if you're spending more money, unit size bigger, buy it back to 14 and a half. Pay the juice. Uh, she's hit this three out of five. Anything longer than that, the odds ain't too good. She's uh she's been really hit or miss, to tell you the truth. Uh, I liked it just because she's coming off like three days rest. Uh, she's a veteran. Um, head to head last time they played, uh, in the beginning of the month, she scored uh, like 30 points or something. 31 points last time they played, June 2nd. So between that, the rest, and uh, like I said, she's a veteran player. Uh, you know, she ain't going against a great team. I figure she should be able to go over this. All right, let's keep it moving. It's one of them days. Uh, Natasha Cloud over nine and a half points. If you can get it at eight and a half, take it. Uh, don't take it at ten and a half. 
minus 135 FanDuel. It's another one that plays like the last one. It's more of a gut feeling. Stats don't look too good. Uh, last two games, 18th, 22nd, she cleared this. And they've had a week off, so plenty of rest. These All these other games, they're back-to-backs, long stretches, getting tired. Uh, like I said, uh, points allowed for... For uh, Los Angeles, they're ranked 10th. They're almost last in the league, so teams score on them. Uh, Natasha's a veteran. Head-to-head, last time that she, they played, she had uh, 21 points. So uh, I just figured she should be able to go over this. Like I said, it's another gut feeling. Stats don't really support it too well, but uh, I'm taking it. Natasha Cloud. All right, last but not least, we're going Derek Hamby points over 15 and a half. Uh, pretty high hit rate. So, three, four, five, 15 out of the last 20. She hit a little stretch that was a little rough. Uh, like I said, all these games, even the other, the other plays, all these games are so close. They played so many games day after day, the 7th, the 9th, the 11th, the 14th, 16th, 18th, 20th. She was probably tired. She got two days rest, and then she had 20. And now today's the 28th. They haven't played since the 22nd, so they're coming back well-rested. Uh, Phoenix is ninth in points allowed, so they lost some points. Henry's a decent player, as you see. He's averaging uh, 16 and 17 points. So I liked it. She's shooting 50% from the field, 40% from three. And uh, 70% from the foul line. Plays plenty of minutes. Should be able to go over this. Definitely line shop. And uh, this is for the night game. Uh, hopefully he plays the best for the earlier game and already started. I uh, really apologize. Uh, Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.